In step five of exercise number two, the following actions have to be implemented to solid verify a CAM project before it runs on the CNC machine. The procedures for completing this step also include general uses of the Inventor CAM simulation control panel. Now that the CAM part has been fully programmed using iMachining 2D, simulate the iMachining toolpath for the entire CAM project. Right-click the Operations header in the Inventor CAM Manager and select Simulate. The Simulation Control Panel is displayed. The Simulation Control Panel enables you to view the iMachining toolpath using several different modes, which are handled by these tabs. The default simulation mode is HostCAD, which displays the iMachining toolpath as a wireframe. This mode was used throughout the exercise. If the Show Tool option is selected, the tool will be represented during simulation as a wireframe circle. Click the Show Data checkbox. The Simulation Data window appears and displays the X, Y, and Z position of the tool, the current feed and spin rates, and the time it takes to machine this cam part. To start the iMachining Toolpath simulation for the entire CAM project, click the Play button. The simulation runs entirely without stopping. Note that you can control the simulation speed with this slider. Moving the slider to the left will decrease the speed of simulation, while moving it to the right will increase the speed. Slow the simulation speed down and then click the Play button again. The simulation runs at a slower rate. There are two other simulation playback options that can be used. The single step mode button enables you to move the tool through simulation one step at a time with each mouse click. Each related movement can even be viewed in the simulation data window. The operation step mode button enables you to play the iMachining toolpath per each operation in sequential order from beginning to end. Click the Colors button to display the Simulation Colors dialog box. This dialog box enables you to define a specific color to each toolpath that is represented visually during simulation. Color definitions are also available in the Part Tool Table, as well as in the Inventor Cam Settings dialog box. Click OK to close the Simulation Colors dialog box. Next, switch to the Solid Verify tab. This is another mode of simulation that will be used throughout this training course. Solid Verify enables you to view the cutting tool as it moves through the solid stock material. During this machining simulation process, InventorCam subtracts the tool movements using solid Boolean operations from the solid model of the stock defined in exercise number one. The remaining machined stock is a solid model that can be dynamically zoomed, moved, or rotated. It can also be compared to the target model. Slow the simulation speed down, and then click the play button to run the simulation in the solid verify mode. If you want to single out a particular iMachining operation, highlight the operation in the cam tree, and then click the play button. The simulation will start from the beginning of the selected operation. Note that the part model was automatically updated according to the selected operation, and all operations shown up to that point are a single color. After clicking the play button, the simulation can be paused during playback, and then played again after selecting a different operation in the cam tree. Click the Stop on Next button in the Simulation Control Panel. The Stop on Next dialog box is displayed and enables you to define specific points to stop the simulation process. For example, check the Tool Change option, and then highlight the Operations header in the Inventor Cam Manager to run through the simulation in its entirety. Click the Play button. Note the simulation will begin playing and pause after the first iMachining operation. This is because the first operation uses Tool 1, and the remaining operations change to Tool 2. Click the play button once more to finish running through the simulation. Then, click exit to close the simulation control panel. At this stage, step five is complete. 
In the next step, the CAM project will be prepared for cutting on the CNC machine. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to simulate the CAM project using several InventorCAM simulation methods.